Congratulations, you are now officially a Glow Science Professional Dental Practice and we are excited to partner with you to bring your patients their healthiest, whitest, brightest smiles. Pumice the patient's teeth to remove surface stains and biofilm so you have a clean enamel surface for whitening. This allows the hydrogen peroxide whitening gel to be in direct contact with the enamel for the best results. Next, apply the vitamin E and aloe lip treatment to soothe the lips and protect the soft tissue. Insert the patented Glow Lip and Cheek Retractor that was designed especially for the glow whitening treatment. No other lip and cheek retractors should be used for the glow whitening process, as this one is designed to be flexible, fit any size mouth, and really easy for the professional to insert. The design prevents the tongue from moving forward for the ideal whitening treatment, and it's also autoclavable so that you can reuse it. This is a great time to turn on the glow device so the mouthpiece can preheat for eight minutes and will be at the optimal temperature when the whitening begins. Air dry the teeth and gums. Now you are ready to apply the Glow Gingival Barrier. The Glow Gingival Barrier has some unique attributes. It is a light blue color so that you can see where you place it. It is also thicker and softer than other gingival barriers designed to prevent it from cracking so the gel won't migrate onto the soft tissue. It's also really easy for you to apply. Precise gingival barrier application is critical for success. We have included a special tip for applying the gingival barrier in your treatment kit. Insert the saliva ejector and apply the barrier by scalloping the gingival margin. There should be no pink showing. Do one quadrant at a time, light curing after each segment. Make sure to cover all recession, abfraction, and incisal edge wear with the gingival barrier. Open a 2x2 two two gauze into a rectangle and fold it lengthwise in half twice to create a roll. Place the roll into the lower lip vestibule and tuck it into the lip, away from the gingival barrier. Use the back of your bender brush to make it really simple. Repeat the process for the upper lip vestibule. Now you're ready to start whitening. The Glow Science Whitening Gel is applied using our dual barrel syringe. It is available in two strengths, 30% and 24% hydrogen peroxide. 24% is for younger patients and those prone to sensitivity. Unique to Glow, it does not contain any carbamide peroxide and is formulated with additional desensitizing ingredients. Attach the orange mixing tip to the syringe and bleed the tip to ensure even mixing of the two chambers and fully activated fresh gel. On the upper arch, apply a small dot of gel to the facial aspect of the enamel surfaces. Use a bender brush or a micro brush to spread an even layer of whitening gel on the enamel surface and into the interdental space where the stain likes to hide. Glow whitens both top and bottom teeth at the same time, so repeat the gel application for the lower arch. Instruct the patient to open slightly and insert the Glow Universal mouthpiece. They do not need to open wide as this could disturb the gingival barrier placement. Have the patient bite down lightly on the mouthpiece but maintain a relaxed and comfortable jaw. Press the glow button on the control and your patient is now glowing. Check in with your patient about halfway through the application and ask whether they're doing well. A simple up or down thumb will do it. Proper gingival barrier placement will prevent any acute sensitivity. 
The control will begin blinking when the first eight minute application is about to end. Secure the lip and cheek retractor while gently removing the mouthpiece. Check to make sure that the gingival barrier is still intact in between each application. The patient gets to continue relaxing in comfort while you reapply the whitening gel with a dot on each tooth, spread evenly with a brush, top and bottom. Reinsert the mouthpiece and continue for another 8 minute application. Depending on the patient's starting shade, their desired shade change, their age and their proneness to sensitivity, complete a total of 2 to 4 8 minute applications. Loosen and gently remove the gingival barrier and gauze pads. The gingival barrier is very easy to remove and should come off in one piece. Fast eight minute applications in the treatment chair and then an at-home technology so that's simple and easy for your patients to use. It's groundbreaking, it's really different. Your patients and you will love it.